Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and since Halloween is right around the corner, I wanted to bring you my annual DIY Halloween costume idea. We are milk and cookies. I thought this idea was really cute and pretty simple to pull off. So of course, it's perfect for a mommy and me look if you want to be matching with your child, but it can also be an adult couple's costume. The cookie costume that I made actually fits me and Zaya, and it was pretty simple to make, so let's just get into it. So starting off with fabric I got a few different types of fabric to use for both the cookie costume and the milk costume for the cookie costume I knew I needed kind of a light brown base to make the main cookie part and I found this perfect light brown fleece material that actually had some color variation to it which kind of gave it some texture and I really felt like it would look like a fresh baked cookie and then I got some plain light brown fleece fabric to use for the back bottom side of the cookie because I feel like you know when you bake a cookie the underside is a little bit more toasted and the top side has a little bit more texture so that's gonna be the front and back of each of our cookies we're gonna be making two cookies so I went ahead and got about a yard to two yards of each of those fabrics then I also got some plain fleece fabric but this time in a darker brown color perfect chocolate color for the chocolate chips. You don't need as much of this fabric, so I just went ahead and got about half a yard of this. So that's all the fabric that you need to make the cookies, but as for the milk costume, I saw this cow print fabric. It's just a plain cotton fabric, and I had to have it because I felt like I could probably incorporate it into the milk aspect of the costume, but it's totally optional. Going back to the cookie costume, I knew I wanted to make some sort of extra accessories to go with it. I ended up making a cookie headband that kind of looks like little cookie ears and so I got a plain headband kind of in this uh, light brown golden color to kind of match the cookie color scheme and I went ahead and got these pieces of foam. For my milk costume I knew I was just going to be wearing a white dress and adding accessories on top. I was going to be adding a milk label going across my stomach and I wanted to make a hat that looks like the lid to a milk carton or a milk bottle and a straw. So so the easiest way to make those things is with paper or cardstock so I got a bunch of red glitter cardstock paper just so I can add a little bit of a touch of glam to the costume you know add some glitter make it a little bit more fun rather than just plain paper and I also got some polyfill stuffing this is just you know regular stuffing that you use to make stuffed animals and stuff like that because I did want to make a nice soft fluffy 3d cookie costume we're basically making two cookie pillows so I wanted to get some stuffing to add some life to the cookies so starting off with Zaya's cookie costume I'm basically gonna be making like I said two cookie pillows that she's gonna be sandwiched between so I actually happen to have this piece of photography equipment it's like a light shield thingy that was actually the perfect size circle that I needed to be able to trace a perfect circle if you have something lying around your house that you can trace of course the size of the circle depends on how big you want your cookie to be how big your child is or how big you are so it's gonna kind of vary but this was the perfect thing and the perfect size so I just went ahead and used this to trace a circle you can totally freehand it um, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle it might actually look more realistic if it's a little lumpy around the edges but yeah so I just went ahead and traced this onto the fabric making sure that I'm layering up the fabric um, folded in half so that I can go ahead and cut out two circles at once since we are making two cookies so once I have the two circles cut out of the lighter more textured fabric I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the solid brown colored fabric so that we can have the backs of our cookies so again just tracing that shape and cutting them out uh, this piece of fabric wasn't quite the exact shape to be able to just fold it in half and cut out two at a time so I had to get a little bit creative with my placement and cut them out one at a time but I still got both pieces just barely enough fabric now for the chocolate chips I'm of course gonna take that smaller piece of a dark brown fabric and I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over so that I can cut out multiple shapes at a time so I had four layers folded over and I'm just cutting these shapes out freehand I know that I kind of want like kind of a circular shape but I don't want them to be perfect circles because if you look at a chocolate chip cookie it doesn't really show up as perfect circles after they're baked so I'm kind of just cutting out 
circular like free hand shapes and just making a bunch of those so that I have enough to use on both cookies. All right, so now that all of our pieces are cut, it is time to assemble the cookies. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is glue the chocolate chips onto the front piece of the cookie. So I'm just kind of arranging them scattered around and getting the position right and seeing how many I'm gonna need. And then I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and apply some hot glue to the back of each chocolate chip and glue them down onto the fabric. You could definitely sew these on if you wanted to or use fabric glue, but I just felt like hot glue was the easiest and fastest way. Now it's time to connect the front and the back pieces together so that we can stuff it and basically turn it into a pillow. So right sides together, basic sewing principles. I am actually going to be sewing mine together, but you can also use hot glue if you want to, but you just want to make sure that you have your right sides together because we're going to be sewing this together inside out and then we're going to turn it right side out when we stuff it. If you were going to be using a hot glue gun, obviously you would just go around the edges with hot glue, making sure to leave a gap open so that you can get your hand in there to turn it right side out and to get the stuffing in there. But since I'm going to be sewing, I'm just taking some pins and pinning it together so it stays in place. And then I'm going to be, of course, taking it over to my sewing machine using some matching colored thread and sewing around the perimeter of the circle. Super easy and again just leaving a gap that's big enough for my hand to fit in. That way I can reach in there, turn the whole thing right side out and be able to put the stuffing in like I said. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for both of the cookies just turning it right sides out and I think sewing is really nice because it just gives it a nice clean edge and then I'm just taking the polyfill stuffing and stuffing it in there and I'm not stuffing it too too much because I do want it to still kind of be kind of flat like a cookie but just have like a little bit of lumpiness and dimension to it so you really don't have to use too much stuffing I only used about half of this bag for both of the pillows combined once the cookies are filled with stuffing we of course need to close up that hole so I'm just doing it the easy way with hot glue applying a little glue and sticking it on there kind of folding the fabric down so it kind of matches the way that it looks on the part where I sewed it and voila you now have two super soft fleecy fluffy cookie pillows essentially and what I think is actually kind of cute about this DIY costume is that when you're done with it you can actually keep this part of the costume and use it as pillows if you want to put it in your kids room or in the playroom or something I think they're like cute little fun pillows but to turn these cookies from pillows to an actual costume all you have to do is take a couple of strips of fabric and place them where you're shoulders would be using some hot glue or whatever and that way you can use that to tie it onto your shoulders to hold it on. As for accessories I wanted to do something cute that Zaya could wear on her head just to add more to the costume. I really did not know what I was going to do but I knew I had a headband and some foam so I ended up kind of just throwing something together. It kind of looks like cookie mouse ears or something and I ended up just using the white foam as kind of a thick base to make a sturdy shape that would stand up on top the headband but I actually ended up using the fabric to cover it up and make the actual cookie design just so that it would perfectly match the cookie costume because the other foam that I bought wasn't exactly the right color so I just used the scrap fabric and made little mini cookies with a foam base to glue onto the headband so I just made sure to cover all sides of the foam with scrap fabric and then glued that onto the headband and now I have like some cute little cookie mouse ears or something I don't know <laughs> and that is the whole entire cookie costume done so now moving on to my milk costume I started off by making the straw so I just took a piece of large white cardstock paper so it's a little bit thicker so it holds its shape a little bit more and I just literally rolled that into a cylinder and used hot glue to glue it down and that is my straw shape I wanted to do a red and white striped straw so I took my red glitter paper and a paper cutter that way it's easier to cut straight lines and I cut them into strips and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that around the white straw to create the striped look you of course could just use regular paper and color on stripes with a marker or use paint or do whatever design you want to do so making the straw was super easy now I want to make a hat that looks like the lid to a bottle
bottle of milk. So I got the idea to use a paper plate as the base since it was already kind of the perfect circular size. And so I'm kind of just making this up as I go along. But what I ended up doing was cutting the outside edge of the paper plate off. So then I traced the straw onto the lid and cut a hole for that. That way I could stick the straw into the top of the milk. And then I wanted to make kind of the, the lip of the lid and I wanted to use the red glitter paper but my paper was not long enough to wrap around the whole thing so I had to get a little creative and cut the glitter paper into strips that way I could connect it into one longer strip and that way I would have a full strip to wrap around the entire hat lid situation and I just used hot glue for everything to connect everything together and now I have a straw lid hat and I ended up just using a red shoestring I mean you can use a piece of string a piece of elastic a piece of ribbon whatever you have to kind of make a little chin strap to hold the hat onto your head and that was pretty much it for the hat so this milk costume is really easy because I am just wearing a white dress as the main part of the costume so besides the hat the only other thing I really need to make is the label that's gonna go across my stomach that says milk so I'm just using a piece of white felt paper you can use a piece of paper or a piece of white fabric whatever you want to use and then I just kind of traced out the word milk in big capital letters you could definitely print out something that you can trace or use a stencil or even just use large sticker letters but I decided to just kind of freehand trace it out and then I'm using an exacto knife on the red glitter to cut out the letters that way it will match the red glitter that I have on my hat and so yeah just using an exacto knife to cut out all the letters and once I have all the letters cut out I'm just going to place them on the piece of white felt and I also cut out two stripes to kind of make it look more like a label and I'm just gluing that on to the white felt with hot glue and a little tip if you're ever working with letters and trying to get the placement right always place the first letter and the last letter that way you know what the spacing is gonna be and then you can put all the letters in between and it'll be perfectly spaced out so yeah this piece of white felt is actually self adhesive so it's sticky on the back you just peel off the backing and stick it onto whatever so I actually just peeled it off and stuck it straight onto my dress and that was my label and that is the whole milk costume so to pull everything together I just wore this white short sleeve dress like I said I just stuck the label straight onto my dress it's sticky enough to stick but not sticky enough to like ruin the dress and then I paired it with some white sneakers of course I'm wearing the hat that I made with the little shoestring to hold it on under my chin and I actually did not end up really using Using the cow print fabric I tried to wear it as like a little ascot tied around my neck but I felt like I didn't really need it I felt like the costume was good without it and as for Zaya all I had to do was dress her up in all black I mean it really doesn't matter what you wear underneath it and then just tie the shoulder straps on and put the headband on and that's pretty much it I also think it would be cute if you wear white underneath it so that you look kind of like a cookie sandwich like an ice cream cookie sandwich which actually since the cookie outfit fits me it's kind of one size fits all I think it looks good with my white dress as well so like I said this cookie outfit can be worn by children and adults can you bring the doorbell and say trick-or-treat And that's it you guys hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY tutorial if you guys try it out definitely tag me in your photos and I hope you guys have a good Halloween bye